everybody, Stephen Key here. Once again, I have a very special guest. Wilbur, you're already, where do you live, in Missouri? Is that what you said? Clinton, Missouri. Wonder, wonderful. And you're an inventor? I am. I have invented the body furnace. The, it's a, uh, a body warmer. A body warmer. Uh -huh. um, do you have it? Do you have it there so you can show me now? Wear it like that. Okay. It has a nice, comfortable belt to go around you. And and you have the uh, controls right here, low, medium, and high. Okay. Or you can uh, adjust it on your uh, phone and uh, go to a uh, app. You got a pretty. You you have it high tech now, don't you? Well, it it is. It is coming right. And I tell you, I. Uh, when did you invent it, and why? Okay, I I come up with the product in about uh, started the project in '03. I am a deer hunter. And loved to deer hunt, but it couldn't stand the cold. And so I started uh, working with ways to stay warm out on a deer stand and, and the uh, an electrical heater uh, embedded in your uh, clothing seemed like the most practical way to do it. And I read a magazine that told how your uh, system works in terms of uh, vasoconstriction when your when your core temperature starts dropping at 98.6 why well, it you go into vasoconstriction which restricts the circulation to your limbs and and extremities and in order to uh, keep you alive basically that's your natural defense system so i decided to heat the core to reverse that process to keep everything warm and and it works amazingly enough everything seems to be connected together and and so i i thought well hey if that worked for me it worked for a lot of others so i started developing a product that that would be uh i could present on the market which i did market a product uh, like that and then i licensed product to a uh, brown med and uh they d further developed the product into this one and it, it is a fantastic product. It, it uses reflective heat technology to where the, it just heats one direction. It's got a low, medium, and high here that you can uh, uh, use to uh, adjust the uh, uh, temperatures on a, uh, you can see the lights go low, medium, and high. Yeah, I can't and, see it because it's down too low for me to see it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay. Okay, that's it's on high now, but you can go low, okay. medium, well, and high. Well, first, congratulations. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I feel very proud of uh, the accomplishment. I really am. But but anyway, that's uh, we can, I did get a product to market. Now, don't let me. Okay. Uh, I haven't got rich, as you <laughs> can imagine. Well, you know but, how to do it now. Was it hard? Let's talk about that process a little bit. Okay. You built a prototype, or did you go into production before you licensed it? Did you build a prototype first, or did you... I did. I, I built many prototypes to uh, test it. And back then, the battery technology was was pretty basic. This is back in '03, you know, and they really we, we had NICAD and that at that time, and that was about it. All right. And, and so, trying to develop a battery that would really work for this this process was very difficult. But I did. I prototyped it. Had switches, tried tried thermostats and everything imaginable, you know, to to uh, enhance it. And uh, yeah, I I worked with prototypes enough to to figure out what it would take to make it work and work, work effectively. And uh, when that, did you uh, when did you start to reach out to companies to try to license it, Wilbur? When did you start to call companies? Okay, I. Uh, Actually, it was probably I was issued my patent in 06. Okay. And so it was uh, uh, post 06, obviously. And my first intentions was to go into business and, and just manufacture and sell. Well, my wife got sick. She came down uh, what thought we thought was terminally ill with cancer at the time, but 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 she's recuperated. But anyway, that took me out of the market basically. Uh -huh. So I had to start looking for uh, another opportunity to to license it. Okay. And uh, uh, through I C Casey up there, I can't tell you how valuable those invention uh, clubs are. But anyway, through through I C Casey. Uh, Ivan Brown, the owner of uh, Brown uh, Brown Med, 
came and did a presentation. He was looking for products, and, and lo and behold, he liked mine. And so we started uh, uh, talking. Now, I did go on, on two or three other uh, uh, sites, you know, signed up for two or three other uh, uh, outfits that were supposed to get uh, get me uh look for somebody licensed to it i went on the uh went on websites and and online and and did a lot of that but nothing was productive until i met ivan he liked the product and so he he took it on well those inventing groups do a good job don't they they do they do that i i i just can't tell you i wouldn't be where i am with this product without that invention group. You just can't do it without somebody helping you and, and training you and, and leading you along a little bit. It just, it just, I, it just won't work. And we met there in Kansas City at one of those groups. We did. We did. Uh huh. And that that was good. I I saw you once before out and in Las Vegas when I was just uh, uh, throwing out some prototypes. You know, try kind of a balloon in the air, hoping something would would pop. But but you were way down the hall, working my way, and I was waiting to see you and kind of excited to meet you. Somehow you disappeared. We didn't make the contact out there. But anyway, I was disappointed at that because I'd read your book, One Simple Idea, and and uh, knew your history and familiar with your website, and and I was excited to meet you. But but it we didn't I didn't get to that time but I did in Kansas City. Yeah, the well thank you. The Kansas City group is a great group, and I've been out there a few times. Wonderful people. I've told you that they're wonderful and and just hardworking individuals. Uh, I do believe it takes a teamwork at times. And it does. It does. I Charlie Chick. You probably met Charlie Chick, and uh, he he was one of my. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, mentors, I guess you would call it, through the process. Fantastic inventor, you know, professional inventor, basically. And, right. and, and just a wonderful guy. Well, what are you coming up with next? Are you working on anything new? Yeah, I, I like wind energy. And I'm I'm working with some concepts on wind energy would be my next, that's my next passion, I guess, to, to uh, develop uh, distributed power through wind energy. All right. Well, did you go deer hunting this season? Well, it, it starts next week, <laughs> uh, and I'm I, I'm not getting to bow hunt. This this uh, I don't bow hunt. I got uh, tech uh, got problem with my elbow, right. and so I just stick with gun hunting. That starts next week, right. and so right. I'll be I'll be out in the woods next week. Uh huh. Well, and uh, staying warm too. Well, there you go. And a lot of other hunters, I know they're really going to appreciate that product that you have. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you, and, Stephen. And um, hopefully, we'll hopefully we'll meet again. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, our trails will cross someplace. Two great inventors, you know, uh, bound, to, bound to meet up. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming on. So to wrap this up, I would say that if you know there's an inventing group close to you, you should join. Would you say that's true? Yes, very definitely. If you if you have any intentions about doing anything along the inventing product development, okay. you certainly need to get involved in a group. And would you also say that um, it just takes a little bit of time and being very persistent and doing your homework? You have to have passion for a, a product or concept. You you really do, or you won't make it over the hump. I believe I. I became very passionate about this and through all the obstacles and and uh, and concerns and all that I, I overcome it, it wasn't easy you know but 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 the the euphoria of accomplishing something is great too you know that keeps you going too so so well, it works both ways but but you've really got to be passionate and, and have a drive to do it or you just won't make it well, and thank you for other people may have may have easier products than mine, but mine was pretty simple, and and yet it was challenging. Well, thank you very much for coming on and sharing your story with everybody. Mm -hmm.